Oh, no. Where is it? What are you looking for? Yeah, I can't find the envelope for my voting papers. You haven't? Of course not. Oh, what a pain. I can't find it. Why don't you vote online like I do? E-voting on the internet, my friend. E-voting is organised by the government, so it's probably really complicated. Oh, don't be so negative. The internet is not secure, so e-voting is not secure either. Find out what e-voting involves at least. Look, there's a good demo version here. It seems e-voting involves some paper after all, Miss Digital. Ah, Max, come off it. That is your voter identification card. Important codes you need for e-voting are printed on it. Your bank sends you PIN codes for your bank card by post, doesn't it? OK, I'll give you that. So look, there are the fields where you have to enter codes. Mm -hmm. These codes are on your voter identification card. So, I enter the initialization code here. Amazing. It's as bad as our Wi-Fi password. The codes have to be quite long to be secure, so now I have been identified by the system and can vote. Mm. See? It's really easy. Now I can cast my vote. I don't know. It's maybe a step too far for me. You have no way of knowing if your vote has been manipulated by someone else or if it has even been recorded in the system. Quite the opposite, Max. <sighs> That's the great thing about it. You can check to see if your vote is recorded. Look! The system has generated verification codes for the answers I entered. Mm -hmm. You see? Here, mm -hmm. here, and here. OK. And look here. I can check the codes against those on my voter identification card, so I know that the system has recorded my vote. If, for example, a virus on my computer had falsified my vote, then the system wouldn't be able to show the right code. OK. That's not bad. This is called individual verifiability in specialist jargon, so I can verify that my vote has been recorded properly. Mm. I can then confirm that I have cast my vote, and that is recorded too. Yes, maybe e-voting does make sense. I can vote anywhere, anytime, on my mobile phone, tablet or laptop, but I can't make mistakes filling out my ballot. However, is e-voting really, really secure? Of course, hackers might try to manipulate it. <laughs> but you'd notice if this were the case. On the one hand, thanks to the codes and individual verifiability, soon we'll have universal verifiability. Mm. Then there'll be no chance of any manipulation going unnoticed at any stage in the process, thanks to special maths. How does that work? How can the voting authorities be sure that my vote has not been manipulated? Do they look to see how I have voted, then check it is still the same later on? No, of course not. That's not possible. Your vote remains encrypted the whole time. There is a special procedure to separate your vote from your identity. And then it is decrypted. OK. And it can't be decrypted by just any old person. Several people are selected by your canton to do it. There's a lot to it, you see. Each person is only given one part of the key. They can only decrypt your vote when together. Hey, that really is secure. Yes, I know, and it gets even better. At each stage, the computers generate proofs that everything has been done properly. This can be seen by the Canton and its specialists at the end of the process. Mm -hmm. If all the proofs are correct, then that means everything has gone well. But what if my computer is infected by a virus? It could manipulate the whole thing and generate fake evidence, and no one would notice. There isn't just one computer, there are lots of them. It's like when printed ballot papers are counted. Lots of people are involved. So even if some of the computers were manipulated, as long as one of the many computers shows the correct evidence, the manipulation would come to light. But couldn't all computers be infected with a virus at the same time? No, for a start, some of the computers are not connected to the internet. And the computers have to be technically different, so it's not possible for a virus to affect them all at the same time. The tasks are spread around many different computers and different people. That makes the system really strong. OK, I'll look and see if e-voting is available in my canton. Oh, where is my laptop? Oh, Max. <laughs>